Hello. Now, uh, in this session, we're going to talk to talk about the counters, which is the uh, following element of our program elements. Uh, we will not talk exactly uh, in each element, but we will talk only about the important elements that being used uh, very frequently in any uh, environment. So uh, the, first, the second one now, the following one now is the counter. Uh, the counters have several types of elements. Uh, it has something called uh, S underscore CUD, which is counter up and down. This CU is only counter up. CD is a counter down. SC is set counter. CU counter up, CD counter down. But these two yeah, are a little bit different than these two, and we will see uh, shortly how they are different. Uh, so, to just to, to understand more about the counter, we just create a new network. This network we will name it as counters. Okay, and then We'll put put the first element, which is s underscore cud counter up and down. So counter up and down is used for counting up or counting down in the same element. So first, it asks you for to assign a name, a tag name for the counter. Any types, any type of counter should be named as any tag name starting with c and only c. So we'll see here, we'll say here just C1 as a counter, C1. I can't say uh, X, Y, Z1, it will give me an error. So only uh, the, the letter C are assigned for counter. I can't put uh, X7, give an error. Only C, C anything, C88, to be fine. So I'll just C1. Okay, I have a specific number of counters. So uh, this C1, uh, how does it work? Uh, it works very simply. Uh, so if the logic behind CU is changing state uh, from zero to one, so the counter C1 will be incremented by one. And you will see that incremented value on CV. If the value, if the logic behind CD uh, changing state from 0 to 1, that the value of the counter will be decremented, will be decremented by 1. Uh, you can set the value of CV if you put the value, boolean value on S. You can put the process variable, uh, the preset value of the counter here on the PV. And once that counter reaches this PV, the preset value, the value of Q will have a value 1. You can reset the counter if you put uh, 1 on R, which is reset. To make it more illustrated, I'll just give it some uh, uh, values. So I'll put here M9.0, okay, and here M9.1, and here uh, M9.0. 0.2 and then here in PV we should put a word value. You see here in the input should be word value. So so if you go to our share DP, we'll see what word we have. We have here word one. Okay, so we'll go back here and then put here uh, shared DB and then word one. Okay. Uh, if, but if we put some value here, we need to put it. Yeah, forget about this one now. Uh, not uh, as important. Um, I'm him, uh, and I put here Q a value of M 9.3. Okay, so what that means if M 9 if M 9.0 changes from 0 to 1, so the CV here will be 1. If another change happen will be two, another change happen will be three. If another change happen on, on M9.1 from zero to one, CV will be decremented from a value of three to a value of two, and, and then a value of one, and so on. If 
m 9.2 uh, equal uh, 1, the value here of CV will be 0. Okay. Uh, what this S value means? This S value means it set the value of the PV to the value of CV. Okay, so this is the first type of counter up and down at the same time. We can use other types of counter, which is counter up. So we'll put another network and we'll just put counter up. Counter up is exactly the same as counter up down, except it doesn't have this CD. It doesn't have, it's, it's not counting down. So just counting up, counting up, counting up until you reset it in that value. The same as counting down. It will be continuing counting down as long as the logic here you put here is changing from 0 to 1 uh, until you reset it. Uh, another example which is these two. Uh, not these two, these two of course, but we we'll first talk about this SC. SC means set the counter with a, a specific process value, a preset value. So we can say, uh, we can give some example well, to be more illustrated. I'll just type C1, okay? And so what C1, and then put here, shared DB counter D1. And uh, M9.7, okay? So what that means, if M9.7 equal 1, we will set the value of C1 with a value, with a preset value uh, stored in that word, will be stored in that word. So uh, once you this logic is true, you will load the value uh, stored here on the counter C1, which is here, and then we'll start counting from this value. This is called SC. Uh, another one which is just CU or uh, or CD, just counting up or counting down without any any reset, without any set, without any uh, preset value, just counting up or down depends on the logic uh, behind. Very simple, without any uh, other pieces. Okay. If you're using any of these, it's very useful to use reset. So once you're counting up or counting down, you need a reset to reset the counter, so you use this reset value. So if you reset the counter, it will return back to the value of zero. Okay? So this, if using this type of uh, this logic, you will need another uh, element which only reset. Thank you.